Hi everyone. I hope you are doing well. I'm doing really well. I feel like I'm spoiled because I don't work that much these days. Um, the work that I do is very slow these days. <laughs> so even though I like to make more money working harder, but forced to take it easy and which is not bad. I actually don't need to work that hard, but I don't know. I think I'm greedy. I like to make more money. I like money. I'm not supposed to, but I do. Because when I grew up, I didn't have that much. So I think that's how I build myself. Like I want to make as much money as possible. So now I'm very comfortable. Actually, I don't need to work. I'm so grateful for that. And I work really hard for to be where I don't have to work. But since I worked that hard for all my life, it's really weird not to work. I don't know, around my age, after 50, late 50, so many people probably same as me. So I need to know I can slow down and not work and enjoy my daily life, which I do. But on the other side, I like to work <laughs> and make money like I used to do. Uh, I don't know for my hobby is working because I've been working so long, very long hours that become my hobby. So these days I'm doing my little garden, uh, gardening to grow vegetable. I order many seeds from Etsy. Recently I got guava seeds and garlic chive seeds and what else? Shizo, like Japanese um, perilla leaves seeds. So I sow all of those seeds already. And I have another YouTube channel for shopping, but I lost um, interest in shopping, going to um, the shop and taking video for that. So I slow down on that one. Actually, I like this channel better because it's I get more comments on this channel <laughs> because I had a retinal detachment. So it's been a year and uh, six months now. My right eye is all healed, but still, it's day to day. I sometimes it's a little bit blur. It's nothing because of uh, retinal detachment or anything, but I think because my bad diet, then I get, even though I had a vitrectomy, I get little black dots, like little bigger one and small ones flooring around. And I feel, I get scared for that. I think those are blood spots from my, somewhere in capillary is broken because I've been eating some lots of carbs and lots of sweets. So I tried to cut, but I grew up with lots of carbs, not too much of a protein. So, you know, when you grow up with uh, um, lots of carbs, then it's hard to eat proteins because it's, it, it's not, it doesn't taste that good for you. I don't know if you will. My children, they cannot eat food, I mean meals without any proteins, but for me, just some of the vegetable and soup, vegetable soup and rice is the, and kimchi are the best meal for me. So bad habit that I grew with. So today I went to Costco and got some meat steaks and some organic ground beef because that I like and 
lots of eggs. The eggs I love. So hopefully I can get more protein that way. And I don't like protein powder. There is some kind of a taste that turned me off. I cannot, um, I don't enjoy drinking protein powder. I uh, try all different kinds of uh, protein powder, like uh, vegan protein or whey protein. All of them has some kind of a taste that I don't like. So today I like to update you. My eye is good here and there. Still, I get scared that if uh, there is detachment again, but it's it's okay. And I like to show you with the cataract surgery, with the new lens, with the close vision, you know, near vision. Far, I will need glasses. I have glasses for that, but I'm glad I did a mono vision with a near vision lens. Because, you know, every day wake up and do going around um, everywhere at work, at home, you don't need to see that far, right? So I'm really glad, doctor. Anyway, I didn't have any choice to do multi uh, lens, multi distance lens anyway. I'm only uh, could have I only could have um, near vision cataract new cataract lens, so I put that on my right eye before cataract surgery with uh, near vision lens. I had to wear reading glasses to put the thread in the needle. I will show you. I like to show you. I can do without magnifying glasses. I can do with my naked eye. So somehow I suppose need reading glasses. I don't need reading glasses, so which is good. When I work, I don't need to wear reading glasses anymore. So I can just work with my eye just as it is. And only when I drive far or someplace where I don't know, I have to wear driving glasses. So actually end up after all that year and a half got healed and now I don't need reading glasses because I got um, cataract surgery on right side. So I will show you. I don't know if you can see it can focus or not. This is really thin thread, right? Do you see here? And end this here. And this is tiny needle. I don't know, it doesn't focus that well. See? So I'm going to put this in here without... I, I didn't wear any contact lens either, okay? So it's my naked eye, retinal detachment, cataract surgery eye. So I'll put it in. I don't even have to squint. See? Did it at first try. Here. I, I wanted to show you. <laughs> this little thing is makes me so excited. I can do it by myself without even magnifying glasses or reading glasses. Can you believe that? That's one really good thing I got out of this retina detachment vitrectomy cataract surgery. So, <laughs> year and a half ago, I was despair. I was scared. I don't know if I can be, have my life back and not only that after year and a half, I have my life back. I can put the thread in this tiny needle with my naked eye. I can see and I got healed. But I don't know while I'm healing for a year and a half, I don't know. There are lots of things happen because of the COVID after that. my business got very slow down. So I feel like I got so much older than before I had a, my eye issues. 
like I exercise a lot more. I like to Zumba dance a lot, but I stopped doing that because I don't want to have any kind of, um, you know, strain, any kind of exercise that might strain at my age, late 50. I don't want to have that kind of a chance, right? So I these days I'm doing uh, stretches and yoga here and there, but not like eight times a week exercise. And of course I walk three times a day. One of, one time is just uh, walk just a little bit with my three dogs. That's not a uh, really walking because they have to stop every <laughs> uh, few step to smell. So. That's not an exercise, but in the morning and after dinner, I walk about one mile each time. So a year and a half ago, when my eyes started having issue with retinal detachment, I was very scared. Didn't know when it will heal, especially when I, when doctor put the long-term gas in and cannot see anything out of my right eye retina detachment I how depressed I was and now year and a half not the same but I think I'm getting bounced back to where I was it's all my responsibility to get back to um, where I was or even better but honestly getting older I don't know, year and a half is not that long, but I feel like I got so much older than a year and a half ago. I just feel like it. Hmm. So I don't know if that is because of my right eye. Actually, it is big as part of the reason my activity and I, my mindset is got so much slow down, I think, because I'm still fear that if I do full force of exercise, like dancing and um, high impact exercise, I I feel like it, I, I, it, I just don't do it because I'm so scared there is retina detachment will occur again doing really intensive exercise and I got older. So from here, I need to put more effort to become more energized as before my eye problem. But I'm so grateful my eye healed. And also I see so many other people who has this retinal detachment or similar eye issues. It takes a long time. I'm saying year and a half I got healed, but feels like it's 15 years. That's uh, how long it felt like because every single day during my retinal detachment uh, healing, the day is like forever because just because you don't know what will be the outcome and nobody tell you why is it or what, how you can prevent, nobody knows that answer. So every time I just pray to God, that's the only way I could move on and got healed. So anyone out there going through hard time with the eye issues, like any kind of issues, we have to just uh, being positive. It's easier to say than done, but only way we can get out of it is being positive, not try not to worry about it and just leave everything to God. That's the only way we can survive in that hard time. So take care, I will see you guys later, bye. I put castor oil last night, so my hair is very greasy. <laughs>